Today I'm going to walk you through migrating MetaMask over to Trezor. I want to show you this very quickly for a moment. This is a gentleman who's been in the crypto space for a while. He had his MetaMask, he had his private keys, and his data was breached. This isn't a newbie. This guy's been in crypto for quite some time. I want you to listen to what happened right here. My wallets got compromised. Now my MetaMask, my Phantom, as well as my Binance, shockingly, got taken some assets from and i'll start here it was my fault they were very okay he goes on to say that he did not have his metamask connected to a hardware wallet so i'm going to walk you through maybe you got started in DeFi, maybe you got started in crypto and you just like me maybe you had a couple hundred dollars at the time or a couple thousand dollars and but it's grown it, it's blossomed right now you've got you know tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars or more and it's like wait a minute what am i doing you need to, it's not good enough that you have your private key not saved on your computer. You shouldn't have it saved on your computer anywhere, but that's not good enough. You need to have a hardware wallet such as a Trezor and it needs to be, your private keys need to be on the hardware wallet, not in MetaMask. But if you've already set up a wallet inside of MetaMask, it's not easy to understand, it's not hard, but it's not intuitive to understand how to export those private keys. So I'm gonna walk you through how to do that step by step in this video before we get started ladies and gentlemen if you love cryptocurrency and you believe in this technology do me a favor and smash that like button and if you like to earn passive income with cryptocurrency and you want to find out how i'm able to earn thousands of dollars even tens of thousands of dollars every single month passively through crypto go down in the description and subscribe to our crypto passive profits newsletter all right let's go ahead and get started first thing we need to do is open up treasure suite begin setup Set up Trezor, firmware is ready, connect. We're gonna get here to where it says recover wallet. We're not gonna create a new one, we're gonna recover wallet. Click recover wallet, start recovery. It's gonna ask us on the Trezor, do you really wanna recover wallet? We're gonna say yes or check yes. It's gonna have you select the number of words of your recovery phrase. Your recovery phrase on MetaMask is 12 words. So we select that in the Trezor and then we click enter 12 words. So it wants us to walk through on the Trezor and type in every single word from our recovery phrase in MetaMask. Now, if you don't know where your recovery phrase is for some reason, I'm gonna show you that very quickly. Come to settings. Scroll down to settings and privacy. Reveal recovery phrase. Make certain that you already have this, I'm assuming, somewhere written down. Don't save it in an email. Don't put in a Word document. Don't save it in Notepad. Don't have it anywhere on your computer at all. You wanna have it written down by hand somewhere. Make more than one copy, put it in two separate places. But whatever you do, do not, do not save it in an unencrypted file on your computer. Now that we're setting up the Trezor, we're gonna put in our 12 word recovery phrase. I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be right back. All right, now we've successfully recovered our wallet. We've typed in the 12 words, we'll click continue. Set a pin code, you wanna set a strong pin. Okay, the wallet asks you to type in your pin code twice. You wanna type it in. I wanna explain the purpose of your pin code if you don't know. Once you set this up, no one will be able to make a transaction on MetaMask without also having access to your physical treasure. What the pin code does is if someone gets access to your treasure, they have to put in the pin code. So you wanna make a good strong pin, but you wanna make certain that you're not gonna forget what that pin is. Then we'll click continue on treasure, pin set, click continue. It's gonna ask you what coins you wanna put in here. The most important one of course is just Ethereum for now. Then we'll click complete setup. Now if we access the suite, I wanna show you something. If we come here, standard wallet, if we go down to Ethereum, we click on it, we want to receive Ethereum. Take a look. This is the same exact wallet as we have right here. If we try to connect the wallet, I want to show you this. If we try to come here and we come here and we say we want to connect this to the Trezor, we come this way, we go to connect hardware wallet, Trezor, Continue, Just allow once for this session, click yes, export, passphrase, we don't have a passphrase, we don't have a passphrase, so we just click enter. Now, 
Notice we can't select this. And the reason we can't select it is because it's already inside of MetaMask. So what we have to do is we actually have to delete MetaMask, reinstall it. What we're trying to do is get MetaMask to export our private keys to our hardware wallet. It will not export them. So we have to delete MetaMask. We have to then import a, the wallet to MetaMask. And at that point, we'll be able to connect the hardware wallet. But if you set up a brand new wallet inside of MetaMask, which is how this was set up, then you're not able to import those keys outside of MetaMask. So let me walk you through and show you how we're going to do this. Delete MetaMask, remove from crypto tab, remove. We've got our MetaMask, our primary account recovered inside of the Trezor wallet. Now we want to come to, we're going to come to MetaMask.io. We're going to click download. We're going to click install for Chrome. Add to Chrome, add extension. It's downloading, it's gonna show up here in a moment. Once it shows up here, we're gonna pin it so it stays. Okay, there it is. Now we wanna click on the puzzle piece. Click on the puzzle piece, click pin. So it's always there for us. We're gonna click get started. What we're gonna do is create a wallet. I agree. Type the password. This is how you log into MetaMask going forward. Notice we're setting up a brand new wallet now. Click next. Okay. Secret recovery phrase. You want to write this down typically. We're going to go to next. It's going to ask us to put in our phrases here. We're going to just click on the letters and we're going to put them in the proper order. Click next. Now, again, we're never ever going to use this wallet. Click all done. Now, what we want to do is change the name of this wallet. We're going to change the name to... Change the name to never use because this wallet is not going to be secured by our treasure. Close it. Come back here to MetaMask. And now what we're going to do is we are going to connect hardware wallet. Trezor. Continue. Allow once. Export. We don't have a passphrase, click enter. And now here's our wallet. So this is the wallet that we have on Trezor that earlier was grayed out and wouldn't let us put it in there. So now we're going to click check, click unlock. And now you see Trezor one. If you try to interact in any way with a smart contract, it's going to, and now that it says Trezor, it's going to ask you to confirm to put in the pin code on your Trezor. There you go. You have now exported your MetaMask private keys to Trezor. And then what we had to do was delete the original instance of MetaMask, reinstall it, and then we had to set up a new wallet in MetaMask. That second time, it's important to note that we did not recover the wallet. We set up a new wallet in MetaMask. Once we had the new wallet set up, the never use wallet, once we had this wallet set up, then it was a matter of coming back over here and connecting the hardware wallet. All right. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful. Do me a favor and smash that like button if this information has been helpful for you. Remember, decentralized cryptocurrency equals freedom. This is Crypto Wealth. I'm out.